Gale Crater showing the Curiosity Rover at Mont Mercau on this structure here. Now I'm calling this a structure because here it is. That's what it is. This is not a natural feature. You can actually see the rover perched on it there, right? There's the rover. And I'll show you close-ups of this in a minute. And I've got you can even see the wheels on it. It's amazing the detail really. Um, but this structure that is sat on here, this is called Mont Mercan, and this is not a natural structure because this, as I've shown from on the ground, has exposed rebar, reinforced wire and metal mesh in it, and is made of concrete, okay? Constructed concrete. It's not natural. <laughs> And this ramp, as I've called it, you can actually see it going right back here, this ramp. And it, what's really cool is um, these structures up here that it points to. Now, it points directly to this one. Now, these are artificial, okay? Um, all three of them, I think. But this one on the end, on the right here, is the most artificial looking and is the most obviously artificial because we have a rectangular structure it comes around like this with another rectangular structure on top here with multiple rectangles in it you've got a straight line coming across here look very carefully where my cursor is follow my cursor got a straight line coming right across here then it comes down then across then up so we've got a square there and we've got a rectangle here and another rectangle here and in fact this whole thing is made up of rectangles as is this thing but this one's got a really good one on it here. These are ziggurats. Collapsed and eroded, ruined ziggurats. We've got a rectangle here. This whole thing here is rectangular, this part. And then we look at this part here. We've got a rectangular part here, right? With a rectangular part inside it there on the edge. And we've got steps going down into the ground. We've got the top. Well, this level here, then another level, then another level, and it looks like it goes right down into the ground. You can actually see where it's buried. So this is probably buried in 30, 40, possibly 40 feet of sand. I would say somewhere between 25 and 50 feet of sand. And we're only seeing the top of it here, and it's all kind of collapsed. And when you brighten it up and, and add contrast to it, like I've done here, you can see those things I pointed out before in the Gigapan, now the Gigapan is completely raw. This has been enhanced a little bit. You see this liner here? We have a square here. You've got a line coming down here and a square there, like a rectangle. You've got these, this line here, with another line coming down here. The whole thing itself is rectangular. But this end of it is buried and collapsed, this side on the right. But this thing here is rectangular. And we've got rectangular parts in here as well. Okay? So this is a ziggurat type structure, which is a kind of complex pyramid. Not a standard simple pyramid, but a more compl a complex type of pyramid with different levels and layers and steps to it. Okay? And ramps. But I think this probably goes right up here. and comes out to there, here like this and kind of this part would have come right down to the edge here, okay? So who knows how, how far this would have gone, but we're only really seeing the top of it. Um, I think a lot of this stuff is, is deeply buried in um, sand and, and sediment and uh, there were mudslides and all sorts of things going on in this area of Gale Crater. And uh, a lot of this stuff is heavily, heavily buried. And uh, this one here, you can actually see there is a rectangular part here with a smaller square part. It's not as obvious on here, but when you look carefully, you can see a row of squares or rectangles here, right? So these were constructed in big concrete rectangular blocks, huge sections, and then put together bit by bit in rectangular sections and then built over and rendered on top 
okay? And what we're seeing here are exposed block sections, large block sections, okay? Underneath the render, where the render has come away and eroded and fallen down and collapsed, okay? The outer layer has collapsed, much like some of the pyramids you see in Egypt at Cairo uh, on the Giza Plateau, where the outer render layer has fallen away, okay? So that's what we're seeing. And you can see that quite clearly in the actual gigapound. Once you know what to look for, you can see those squares. Even from this level, you can see that square right there. Okay? And that line going across. And another rectangle here. If you use the magnifier, you can see them even better. There's that square. There's that line going across. And there's multiple squares and rectangles in this whole thing. This thing is a ziggurat. It's not a butte. This is probably one as well, although... Um, more dilapidated and more of a random shape here. This one is quite clear. This is a good one because it's still maintained its main shape even though a lot of it's collapsed and buried here uh, on the right and top. You can actually see it pretty clearly. And uh, if you zoom in and use the hover zoom magnifier you can see those details in the image. This is a raw image, okay? I haven't altered this image in any way. This is as it comes from NASA. So these are there. And all you have to do is bump up the contrast a bit and you'll see these pop out. In fact, I'm going to do that a bit more now. And you can really see. Look at that. Look at that. This is artificial. There's absolutely no way that this is just a butte. You can actually see how it was constructed and you can actually see these on here now. Okay, you can see those rectangular parts. Now I'm going to flip it to negative for you. And you'll see them even more in the negative inversion. You can see that really clearly now as a white outline coming across here and then down here. Okay, so you can actually see the construction parts, how these things were put together in large concrete sections. Okay, they weren't built with lots of hundreds and, or thousands and thousands of um, sandstone blocks like the pyramids on Earth. These were, these were more uh, complex construction, a more modern style of construction, and may represent um, either tombs or, more likely, I think, actual bunkers. And, and people may have lived in these. Okay? And uh, the outer render and the outer upper parts have fallen away, showing the construction underneath. Much like this thing here, which I've shown before, at Montmartre Carry. This thing, when, when you see this from the ground, as I've shown before, you can see the actual concrete construction mesh sticking through the concrete, where the concrete's eroded away, and you can see the, 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 the rebar or reinforced metal bars in a kind of grid-like mesh that held the concrete together. <laughs>
and uh, I'll put some clips of the, of the concrete exposed mesh, reinforced concrete mesh, showing on this artificial ramp, Montmercao. Okay, so the Montmercao mystery is is being solved as we as we speak. Okay, this is not a natural mountain or cliff edge like like uh, NASA would have you believe. This, I think, is either a part of a, a dock side, like this is here as well. And this was all like a marina, and I've shown many, many sort of shipwrecks and boats in the area as well. So this is a marina stroke dock. If you go to the bottom of the image, we have the Forbidden City. The city area here and loads and loads of structures here and here and my favorite are these here because um, they've got multiple square and rectangular structures ruins here okay all together there are loads of them here absolutely littered with them and they go right down the mountain and uh, this is only a small section of the mountain here they, they go on for miles okay ruins everywhere so there's no doubt about it. There was life on Mars, there was life in Gale Crater, but there was also life in Jezero Crater. Mm -hmm.